Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name's Lisa. If you're new around here, I'm just getting ready for the day. We've had a busy few days actually, I'm gonna catch you up on it in the next clips. But yeah, I just thought I'd have a quick catch up with you this morning whilst I get ready. I'm just popping some makeup on, we're going for quite a natural look today, just subtle everyday look. Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit more 1930s inspired, but a little bit more modern. I've been inspired by the film Marley because we watched it last night and the actress in it, Diane Kruger, just looks so beautiful and effortless. You know, like 1930s, you would kind of imagine them to wear a bright red lip, thin brows, you know, quite pale, bit of blusher, but she actually had a bit more of a modern take on it in one of the scenes and I thought I would try and do that today. So as you know, I'm part of the Sky Cinema Club and I get to review movies every month for you. This month's movie is of course Marlowe and yeah, I'm gonna to talk to you about it whilst I get ready today. I'll just show you a photo of Diane Kruger and as you can see, she's gone for quite a subtle makeup look there. I feel like it's very much like how I would usually do my makeup. So yeah, the film Marlowe has got some great characters. We've got Marlo himself, who is Liam Neeson. We all love a Liam Neeson film. Blacklight was a really great film that I've watched from Liam Neeson, of course. But what I loved was there was also a couple of really great female actresses within this film as well. We've got Jessica Lange, who I absolutely love. She's in a lot of American Horror Stories series. Also, there was Diane Kruger. That's who I'm inspired by to do my makeup this morning. I feel like it's very natural, very soft, which is what I'm gonna do. She did have a couple of scenes where she had the bright red lip, but I don't know, I feel like I'm not very good with a bright red lip, especially for daytime. So I'm gonna go with the more softer approach today. So Liam Neeson, Marlo, is the private investigator within the film. Diane Kruger, a glamorous heiress, hires Marlo to find her ex-lover and basically he's linked to a lot of people within the movie which is also within the kind of movie industry in the 1930s you're kind of guessing throughout the movie which i like i always like it when it's like that you never know what's happened right until the end so it was a great movie i loved the 1930s setting of it the way it was shot it was very cinematic so yeah that was our movie night last night i also watched elvis a couple of weeks ago oh my god i loved it it was such a good film i've been waiting for it to come out on sky cinema for ages because i wanted to go to the cinema and we just hadn't had any time to go and when it came out on sky cinema it was the first on my list when it came out. So I watched that the other day. I love Elvis, listened to him growing up. My my dad used to absolutely love Elvis. So we used to listen to his music all the time growing up. So it was very nostalgic and it just brought back all lovely memories. But it was really good to obviously learn about Elvis as well. So like I said, Sky Cinema have got some uh, incredible movies out at the minute. You've got Best of the 80s, Women in Film, of course, Elvis. Let me know if you've seen Elvis yet and let me know if you've seen Marlo yet. If you haven't seen Marlo, because it only came out on Friday, then definitely check it out because it's a great film to watch if you're having a little movie night. So yeah, that was what we got up to last night. And then yesterday we got started on a little upcycling project, which I've been meaning to do for so long for our bedroom. And it is of course our bedside tables. We're gonna have a little refresh in our bedroom. So I thought I would show you that today and do some kind of budget upcycling, I suppose, and just updating in our room. So I'm very excited to do that and yeah that's what I'm getting up to today. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're having a lovely week so far. I feel like this is a nice natural base. I've just gone with like a tinted moisturizer, which I think is nice. Now we need to go for, this is not really much eyeshadow actually. She's gone for quite a soft look on the eyes, but a little darker in the socket area. So I'm just gonna powder, set my makeup, because I always need to powder when I'm doing my makeup. I feel like her brows looked very much like mine actually, so I'm not gonna do anything to them today. I'm literally just gonna fill in any gaps and keep them very natural and soft. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with this Iconic London palette. This is the eyeshadow palette in Soft and Smoky, and I'm gonna pop that just in the socket area, because I feel like that's what they used to do. And then they would leave the lid bare. She's also got a little bit of liner on the lids, so I'm gonna go in with the brown liner because again, I feel like that's very soft, very natural and there's no flick at the end or anything. It's literally just lining the lash lines. That is what I've done for my eyelids, some mascara, tiniest bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I think for her lip, she's gone for something a little bit more pinky. So I feel like I've got the perfect shade for this. So I've got this Charlotte Tilbury. It's like a lip balm, it's called Pillow Talk. And this is the perfect shade. It's got that very purpley tone to it. Okay, so that is my makeup all done now. This is my modern day version of a 1930s inspired look, which was inspired by Diane Kruger, also known as 
as Claire Cavendish in the film Marley, which is now out on Sky Cinema. So I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me this morning. And what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna rewind to yesterday and I'm gonna show you the start of our bedroom makeover and our upcycling project. So let's get into it. I'm so excited to show you this because we've made such a huge difference. So let's get into it and rewind back to yesterday. Right, room B and Q now, because we're gonna get some molding for our wardrobe doors just to give them a little spruce up. So I think we're gonna have something like this. Decorative. Decorative molding. It's like a flatter one, isn't it? Yeah, I think we want it to have like... Oh yeah, like a bigger edge on one yeah, side. Yeah, I think so. As opposed to the round edge. Should we get that one? It's just slightly flatter as well. Yeah, and slightly wider. Yeah, I quite like that. So we're gonna get five of these, because I feel like that'll be enough. Well, they are nine pound, or no, 10 pound. 11 pound each. Well, about 11 pound each but it's cheaper than but. buying new doors. Little bedroom makeover. Come on, Landy. Let's go, my love. Let's go pay. Can you help me? Okay, so I thought we could talk about our bedroom and some updates that we're gonna make within this video I think. So we've had these wardrobe doors obviously they were here when we moved in. We did change the handles so they'd match the Ikea wardrobes that we've got. These are not from Ikea but I bought spare ones so they could go on that door. They're still not on properly so sometimes in a video you might see that they're wonky because it's not actually attached properly but we need to do that and we thought we would spruce these doors up, give them a little freshen up and a paint so I think we're going to do that today in this video and then I also wanted to share with you our bedside tables. So these bedside tables that we've got we've had these probably for about five years now maybe even longer actually they were from Dunnell um, I think they might still do this style but in a different color and as you can see they've got that kind of shabby chic look to them I'm not that keen on this bottom section here so we might do something with that to try and hide it or cut that bit off and add some like trim on the end and also I've got some new handles as well so I've had these handles for so long and I've just not even thought about this little project really but we wanted to paint them so what I'm going to do is because I still haven't found a bedside table that I like or that I feel would work well in here so we just thought why don't we just paint them for now I still love the wood tops so I'm going to keep, keep the tops wood because I find that they're easy to clean and you know they're not really dust collectors I feel like when you paint things sometimes they collect dust even more so I feel like keeping the top as wood is going to be absolutely fine. I um, bought this green colour from Farrah and Ball. As you can see our lamp, um, the glass bit broke on this lamp here a little while ago now actually so we need to update our lamps. I've seen a couple from Dunelm that I really like the look of so we might get those. They've got a black stand with a little lampshade on top which I think might work well as well. So we're going for more of an old school video doing a little bit of DIY and we're going to upcycle these bedside tables. So I'm going to show you the process and yeah, let's get into it. So these are the handles that I ordered. I've had these for so long now and this is what they look like. So they're like little brass cup handles. So they really match the handles that are in our bedroom because they've got the same finish, which I like the look of. First job is to empty the drawers. I'm going to take everything out of here and then we can take them down and paint them. I've taken the handles off now. Basically, this is what I'm not really keen on. So we're gonna try and cut this here. So we've got like a straight line and then I'm gonna pop some beading on here. I think, I don't think I've got beading thick enough so I'm gonna have to do it twice. Lovely job. I need to do now is just dink them in a little bit. Yeah, these Maybe ones. On. Yeah. So I've got these holes here from the previous handles. I need to fill those because the new handles are a little bit smaller. So I'm going to use this filler, one strike filler. Okay. 
But I've taken the drawers out now and letting those dry. And then this is the paint that we're going to go for. It's Litcher number 19. And it's this lovely green colour. Slight change of plan. We've come inside because it is raining outside. So I'm going to get painting in here. Everything has now had a coat of paint, so I need to wait two to four hours. Well, it should be four hours really before you reapply. We're gonna leave these and then reapply when it's all dry. I'm actually loving the color. It looks so, so nice with the wood as well. It's really nice, so I'm very, very happy with that. This is the part where you need to trust the process because it always looks a bit scary at first because of course the first coat of paint never looks great. But once we get another coat on there, it's gonna be perfect so so exciting i'm so glad we're doing this now because this is just such a great way to kind of upcycle furniture just by adding some extra pieces of beading cutting bits off just to make it a little bit more fresh and renewed so i feel like this is going to be perfect in our bedroom and i think these handles are going to be gorgeous with the color as well I right think. so we are on project doors now all over it today mark's already marked out where we actually need to screw these in because they weren't screwed in were they babe Never got round to that job, didn't we? We didn't, did we? So, with this one, we're not going to try and match these doors here, which are more of a shaker style, just because I feel like it will make the door a little bit too thick, although you could definitely do that. We are going to just add some beading to the inside, just like a big rectangle. Okay. We're not going to separate the middle at all, we're just going to have one rectangle, just to give it a little bit more interest, and yeah, so it doesn't look just like a plain door. So we're just going to cut those, stick them on. Lovely job. Thinking? Hey? Oh, oh right, okay, yeah. So I'm thinking probably about, about like ten centimetres. Yeah, about no, ten. not that much. What do you reckon? Six or do you think that's a little bit too that's a little bit too close to that? Can't though, because that's you're gonna be No, I mean a little bit more in. Oh really? Yeah, mm. do you not think what is that six hundred? Yeah. I'd say eight. Struggle was real yesterday as those like 50 shades of green were just throwing you off. Well, the thing is, because in home base and B&Q, they don't actually stock many of the colours. No. They just stock like the whites and like their most popular shade. So I wanted to get the colour Treron by Farrah and Ball. And they didn't have that one, no. did they? So then they literally had like two, yeah, two greens. Pigeon there, didn't they? Well, that yeah, pigeon. pigeon was a little bit light. I wanted it a little bit darker. And then they only had that... What's the one Lichin. we Lichin. Lichin. Mm. Or we had French Grey, which we've already tested out here, haven't we, before? Um, mean? And I thought, I didn't really want French Grey because I thought, again, that was a little bit too light. But then I thought Lichin was a little bit too warm. Mm. But I feel like it's going to work in here because our walls are, are a warm yes. tone. You got there in the end, didn't you? Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Like a... Considering we didn't test it no. or sample it. It's been an hour, isn't it? I was stressing because I was just like, no. You know when you have a colour in your mind and then nothing else compares but to it, does it? Your but... phone wasn't working so you couldn't look at any colours. <sighs> okay. so I like to Google the colours yeah. when I'm in the shop just so I can see, you know, a few pictures of how it will look. Mm. Um, and my phone wasn't working so that was stressing me right out, wasn't it? I was getting really stressed. <laughs> uh, but we went with, we just gambled and went with it didn't we in the end and they're it actually so, worked um, out really well they're so similar aren't they the green yes i feel like Treron is just a bit darker but actually yeah. this is dark enough it looks really yeah, nice yeah, yeah. Really so good. i'll show you the bedside tables actually yes. now because we've popped the handles on and they look so good mm. they look really i'm good, really actually. pleased with them proper what's the word glow up yeah isn't it? because we've got rid well. of the little swirly bit at the bottom yeah, yeah. it just instantly makes it look so much nicer because it looks a bit more like french chic didn't it yeah but now it looks, like shabby sheet. But like French with the like ornate things, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Might be really cool. But yeah. now it just looks a little bit more modern, a little bit mm. more our vibe. So I'm happy with that. You did really well painting that bit. Thanks. Really Took three deep. coats in the end. Yeah. Three coats. So I need to do a couple of touch ups because we've obviously put the handles on it today. And then that's it. So I'm happy yeah. with that. We're on to the second door now. 
in the, the this is the godsend yeah this is what's is this called mitosaur a mitosaur so we're on to the second round of cuts we've done the first door it yes. looks great well, so i thought i'd just come in here so mark could explain what he's doing and what cuts he's making so the thick edge is always on the outside yeah so bear in mind when you cut these you always got to remember that mm -hmm. well, i just visualize it in my head like yeah. where it's going and what cut i need to make yeah so obviously this is going to be the top of the next door. Yeah. So that's got a straight edge there, but I need to cut it this way because that's going to give me my right hand corner. I've done that cut there, then I measure, then I move the, the saw and cut the other way. Because you could cut them like that, then they're wrong way, aren't they? Of course, yeah. So you've got to have that one that way and then that one that way. And then measure four, four, one there. It's 45 degrees. 45 degree angle. So now I've got to move the saw. So now I move it this way. Sorry, I'm on my phone now because my battery's run out, but I wanted to show you a little update of how the door is looking. So that's that one side done already. Look how good that looks. It's decent, isn't it? Looks really good. So we're just going to pop on the piece that Mark has just made. He's doing it, he's cutting them piece by piece just to be really exact with the measurements because <laughs> these doors are a little bit off, as you can see at the top there. So you have to measure it every way, every yeah. step of the way getting ready now to paint these um, i'm going to go in with the same paint that we've got on the walls which is raw beauty by crown and l decoration oh uh, yeah we're just going to go for it i know it's not the right finish because this is a matte paint and really you should be painting it with satin finish probably as we're going over satin but we don't mess around here <laughs> <laughs> we're going for it oh it'll be fine won't it yeah we like to wing it in this house yeah, so yeah. this is what we're doing anyway these look great Honestly, don't they yeah we did the handles but you did the handles, we did the handles and now you yeah, know no we really should take them off but whatever we can do it ta-da Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this. I've popped a little doorstop down there so the door doesn't knock onto this door anymore. It's still drying at the minute, but I just couldn't wait to show you. Look how much nicer that looks now. So, so nice. If you've already got flat doors like the ones that we had previously, and you just wanted to add a little bit more interest or detail, or even if you've got the IKEA Pax wardrobes, you know the flat ones that you can get, if you wanted to add a little bit more of a bespoke look to them, this was so simple to do. Let me know what you think of them. Are they improved? Do they look better? I feel like we don't need to get different doors now because I just love the way they are, so we won't be buying new doors for these because I think they look great. So those are the doors. You probably want to see what the bedside tables look like. I've got my new lamps on there as well. So let me show you the bedside tables. First of all, this is the new lamp. I was actually thinking this might look a little bit too tall, but actually I feel like it creates a bit more of a feature. They are so lovely. They were from Dunelm. They were only, I think they were either £32 or £35. And I was a little bit nervous because the lampshades are actually grey. However, I just feel like it adds a little bit more interest. I love the way it looks and I love the light that it gives off as well. So these are the lamps that we're going to be sticking with now because we've got through so many lamps for this room, but I feel like we've finally got the right height and they just give enough drama to the room to make the room feel special and inviting. And then I've just got a picture of the boys on there. And then, da 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 da. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Look at these, how gorgeous do they look? So as you can see, we've got rid of the kind of swirly bit on the bottom, which I just feel like really amplifies this bedside table. I feel like it looks so much nicer now. And again, very simple to do, just a quick paint. The same goes for this side, which is Mark's side. And yeah, what do you think? I feel like they've transformed this little corner so much. I took the picture down that was on there. We did have a canvas on that wall. I have got a couple of other pictures and I have put prints in them. However, I haven't got enough command hooks to kind of put them onto the wall. So I've popped that one back up there, which I really like. And yeah, I feel like this looks great. Let me turn the lights off so you can get a full look at the colour as well. So now you can see what that looks like. I haven't put anything on the bedside tables yet. I just found this picture and I wanted to keep that there. And I need to get something small to go on Mark's side, but I'm not sure what to put on there yet. Probably a small plant or something like that. But um, yeah, that's what the bedside tables look like. Don't you think this colour is gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I thought that the black might be a little bit too harsh, but I actually personally love it. And I also love the gray. I feel like the gray is really nice. I wanna get three different cushion covers for those three pillows at the back there, just so they're a little bit darker because I don't want the bed to kind of blend into one as well. So yeah, a little bit more of like a green color, maybe an olive or even like a charcoal gray would look quite nice to kind of tie in the gray from the lampshades. Oh, 
I love it. I just love it so much. And these, sorry, this looks so nice. Don't you think the doors look so fab? I can't believe it. What a transformation. So that, guys, is our little mini bedroom makeover on a budget it didn't cost much at all so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys